100 to 11. We lost 100 to 11. And that's with the other team calling off the press, halting fast breaks, instituting a number of passes before a shot rule, and falling into a 2-3 zone that didn't rotate or close out very quickly. Had they played their hardest, I truly believe they could have beaten us 200 to nothing. If there is a motivational rant to inspire a group that is losing a basketball game by 10 touchdowns, I do not know the words to it. I just said, hey, don't sweat it, man. They're just better than us. But I can recall how it felt when the homie Nico dropped like 20 on my McKinley Junior High squad in 7th grade and how I realized in that exact moment that I was never going to play in the NBA. It was devastating. With about three minutes left in the fourth as we began our run towards double digits, the ball sailed out of bounds and the ref yelled, Wait! while gesturing towards our basket. My center, who has never played organized hoops in his life and could hardly simultaneously chew gum and walk when the season started, ran to the official and said, Sir, I touched it last. That should be their ball. The ref incredulously stared at the gangly boy with feet the size of snowshoes and said, Excuse me? The boy, who has a 45-second explanation for every piece of constructive criticism I send his way, replied, It was off me. He went up to grab it, but then I tipped it out of bounds. It's red ball. The ref motioned towards me and I called out, Yo, what are you doing? My center with the heart so big I can't believe it fits inside his skinny bird chest headed my direction and said, Coach, I gotta be honest, it's their ball. And the ref chuckled through his whistle, sending faint shrills with each exhale and pointed to the opposing basket. Okay then, red ball. I fell off my coach's seat and laid on the sideline in a jovial display of defeat and disbelief. I've only ever seen shit like that in commercials. After the game, the boy who pushes positivity and pep talks after 50-point blowouts and sends texts reading, we're definitely winning, the night before games, approached me and apologized. I sighed and said, nah, man, your honesty and realness is what I love most about you. It's not fair for me to hate that same honesty and realness just because it doesn't benefit me. What you did was beautiful and made me smile but I am going to roast you for the rest of the season about this. Just then, the ref, who didn't so much as make eye contact with any other player, walked up on us and reached his hand towards the boy who, after scoring his first two points of the season in like our 10th game, flexed on the opponent like a gladiator after a successful sword swing. Thanks, 34. Appreciate you. And the boy who misses 10 threes in a row only to once again inform me that pre-pandemic he had a curry relived the possession like a play-by-play announcer recapping a championship, detailing the scenario as if the ref didn't see it, which apparently he didn't as he didn't recognize it wasn't our ball. The chairs were expeditiously loaded onto the rack, the remaining audience was whisked to the exit, and the scoreboard went dark as if 100-11 to never happened.